Eric was an exemplary officer, a family man. He's described by his colleagues as a coach, a mentor, someone that everybody looked up to, the glue that held his shift together, the best leader that many people ever had the privilege of working for. It has happened far too often over the past many months across this country that we've lost police officers in the line of duty. An Ontario provincial police officer was shot and killed earlier today. Two other officers are injured. After responding to a report of gunshots at a home in an eastern Ontario village early this morning, OPP Commissioner Thomas Carrick says the police officers were ambushed as soon as they responded. One of the two injured officers has been released from the hospital and is recovering at home. The other is still being treated in hospital. 42-year-old Sergeant Eric Mueller is being remembered now by his colleagues, as you heard there, as a stand-up colleague and friend over his 21 years with the OPP. The shooting happened in Bourget. We're going to show you right now a look at that village. It's 50 kilometers east of Ottawa. Just about 1,200 people live there. You can see a large police presence still remains, even at this hour. The OPP says the three officers were responding to a disturbance at a home on Laval Street. That street is now, as you can see right there, completely blocked off. A suspect was taken into custody, and an investigation into what happened is, of course, underway. Michael Kersner is with us live now. He's Ontario's Solicitor General. Hi, Solicitor General. Good to see you, though. I certainly wish it were under different circumstances. Absolutely. It's a real sad day for Ontario. It's sad that uh, we have to lay another officer to rest. If you could, uh, sir, could, could you share the latest information you have that you are able to share with uh, Canadians who, who are watching tonight about the situation in Bourget? Well, I just want to say our, our thoughts are with the family of uh, Sergeant Mueller. I was alerted earlier this morning of this tragedy. And uh, it's under investigation, as Commissioner Karik said to you earlier today. So we can't really comment about what's going on. And our thoughts and prayers are with the family. Have you had any opportunity to speak to Sergeant Mueller's colleagues or, or anyone from his family? We played some clips there of Commissioner Creek talking about how, you know, they were referencing to him today as a mentor and a coach and someone who kind of the glue that the, the thing that struck me, the glue that kept the shift together. Well, Vashi, I haven't spoken to the family yet. I will be doing so shortly. I did speak to Commissioner Creek very, very early this morning. I did speak with the president of the OPP Association. I stay in very close contact with uh, the commissioner and the association and most chiefs across Ontario on a daily and weekly basis. Again, our, our, our thoughts are with the family and it's a terrible tragedy for Ontario and for Canada. If I'm not wrong, and please do correct me if I am, but just less than a week ago, you were with the commissioner um, at the Ontario Police memorial annual remembrance ceremony. The names of four officers who had previously been killed in the last year were essentially added to that that memorial and you were all there to kind of commemorate that. I know that not every, you know, there's, they're not perfectly similar, right? There's differences between all of these situations. But the commissioner today was talking about, you know, just since September, the fact that 10 officers across Canada have been killed in the line of duty, that five have been killed simply in Ontario. I'm not trying to minimize the differences or the details, but what does that tell you? What do those numbers tell you? Well, it tells us that it's very tragic. Uh, you know, uh, you're right. On Sunday, we were at the memorial. We had thousands of, uh, of police officers march by. It was a solemn day. We remembered Constable Andrew Hong. We remembered Constable Northrop and Russell. We remembered Constable Parashala. And, and it was a sad day. Uh, but I have to tell you something, our commitment to Ontario safety is absolute and constant. And it's something that uh, I say in my travels and in the legislature every single day. We are committed to the public safety of every Ontarian. We've never had a government in my generation that has taken public safety as seriously as our government uh, led by Premier Ford. I, I, I don't know, and we don't know, uh, the, no, none of the details have been made particularly, you know, we just don't know what happened, the circumstances around what happened today, other than, of course, Sergeant Eric Mueller was killed in the line of duty. You have, and, and your provincial counterparts, though, in other instances where officers in the last year have been killed, 
uh, brought with you to Ottawa a message about bail reforms. And I think it's actually exactly two months ago um, that a number of you met with uh, the federal justice minister. And he pledged to make some changes. And again, I want to be clear to the audience, I don't know what happened in this case, and I'm not trying to say that's that is the, the, the reason here. Uh, but just looking at some of the other cases and, and a conversation I know the provinces and the federal government are having. Two months ago, the, the federal minister said, OK, there, there will be changes coming. Uh, we will address what the premiers are saying. Do you know where things stand now? Well, I want to uh, thank you for acknowledging the need that the federal government has to step up. And we have to have uh, new bail reform. We have to keep our violent and repeat offenders off our streets. And that's exactly why our government came forward with a historic announcement just a couple of weeks ago, where we're investing over $110 million to keep the violent and repeat offenders off our streets. They don't belong in our streets. We want to keep our community safe. And this is one of three major announcements our government made to keep Ontario safe. The other announcement, Vashi, was to address the fact that every 48 minutes an auto was stolen somewhere in Ontario. It's unacceptable. I said, uh, I said in my announcement that we're contributing uh, an investment of over $50 million to have uh, the OPP and other police services acquire the technology and resources they need to bring this to an end. I looked at right in the camera, Vashi, and I said, we are going to put the people that are taking our cars out of business. And the third uh, component and the third pillar of our investment to keep Ontario safe is expanding the cohorts, the number of spaces at the Ontario Police College so that we can graduate over 2,000 cadets starting next year, which will help keep our province safe. I just want to pick up on the first part of that announcement because I think it speaks directly to the concerns you and your provincial counterparts have raised around some of the police officers who have been killed and some of the concerns around bail reform. I think it's that you announced about $112 million over three years aimed at bail compliance measures. Um, some of the criticism of that that I read is uh, that there should be a commensurate amount or a commensurate investment in making sure that delays in criminal trials are addressed and that staffing shortages that are leading to those delays in Ontario are more seriously addressed so that, you know, people aren't basically out on bail as long waiting for their trial. Uh, will your government do that? Well, the, as part of our announcement, the Attorney General, uh, Doug Downey, also has a component of our investment that will help address the prosecutorial side of things as well. What we want to make sure that is if you violate your bail condition or your court order condition, you're back in jail. We want to keep our streets safe. And this is exactly why our government made this uh, commitment of a large investment over $110 million. And this is an example of how we take our public safety extremely seriously. Uh, but when I'm talking about the, the, the prosecutorial side of things, are you telling Ontarians, for example, that you can guarantee a reduction in the amount of time people are waiting for those trials and thus able to be out on bail? Um, I didn't hear any specific metrics in that announcement, nor in your answer just now. Well, it's a question in part you'll have to ask the Attorney General. But what I can tell you is we've made major investments in our correctional system because in any given day we have over 9,000 people in our correctional system. They're there to keep our streets safe. This is important to us. Last week alone I've toured uh, four of Ontario's correctional facilities. The people who work in our correctional facilities are heroes. I always say that we have to salute everyone that keeps Ontario safe, our police officers, our firefighters, our correctional parole and probation officers, those incredible 911 call operators that keep us safe every day. It's part of a network, Vashi, that helps keep Ontario safe each and every day. Do you, I guess, and I, and I ta certainly take your point, Solicitor General, on the announcements that you've made more recently. Do you acknowledge, though, that there are a number of people in Ontario who see what has unfolded over the last 24 hours or in the last uh, number of months since September when they hear the commissioner talk about the number of police officers killed in the line of duty and they don't feel as safe as you say they should? Well, I want to say that, uh, again, laying five officers to rest who were killed in the line of duty is tragic and no words can console grieving families. But we will not let this define who we are as Ontarians, the values that we have. 
We're a peace-loving province of 15 million people, approximately 15 million people. We are diverse. Our diversity is represented in those who keep us safe. And uh, again, our thoughts are with the families. But I live in my riding. I live in my riding of York Centre. I consider our province a place that we can raise our family and play in the park and go to work and pray and, 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 and have a life that we can be proud of. We can't let, as sad as it is, as tragic as it is, we can't let these, um, these terrible uh, passings of five officers on the line of duty define who we are. And you know what, Fashi, we're not. The people of Ontario know that we are a great province and we're a peace-loving province, and we're proud of that. Okay, um, uh, Solicitor General, I'm out of time. I have to leave it there. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Thank you, Vashi. Thank you.